Hey guys, so today's video I'm going to be talking about all my favorite fall lipsticks. I have lip liners in here too as well, just basically my favorite fall lip products. And this video is a special one because it is a collab with my friend here on YouTube. Her name is Nicole and her YouTube name is Young, Wild and Polished. I'm sure some of you know who she is. She is a really good friend of mine in real life. We text all the time. She's just a great, great person. So we decided to collab in this video and she's going to be sharing with you her favorite fall lip picks as well. We didn't want to do like a top 10 or anything. We just wanted to talk about all of our favorite ones So after you're done watching this video head on over to Nicole's and see her favorite fall lip picks I just think it's good because you get to see a variety of different colors I'm actually excited to watch her video because I want to know if we have any of the same ones But yeah, she's so so funny. Her videos are very laid-back. She's extremely down-to-earth has a great sense of humor Personality reminds me a lot of my personality, which is why we get along so well I think and she's just a good person like if you like a good people then go subscribe because she's a good good person anyway enough chit chat I'm gonna go ahead and share with you my favorite lip products I actually did this exact video a year ago I'm gonna go ahead and link that video down below because I'm not gonna be repeating any of the products that I said last year even though all of them are holy girl products still like max diva and rebel and certain lipsticks that are just staples for fall I think for so many people I'm not gonna be talking about those because those are very very popular and I feel like Everyone loves those colors for fall. Do you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? So I want to talk about ones that I've recently discovered that I think will be perfect for this time of year. But if you're interested in other colors that I will still be wearing for fall, then go ahead and check um, last year's video. Okay, so I'm going to talk about my favorite lip liners first. So for the fall, I love wearing deeper nudes, like the more brown-based nudes or more beige kind of nudes instead of like the peachy nudes or the light, light pink nudes. You know what I'm saying? So I really, really love this lip liner from NYX. It is called Natural and it is a very pretty um, nude with like a beige undertone. It has a little bit of brown to it and I think it would look so pretty on so many different skin tones. And NYX is a very affordable brand. Their lip liners are one of my favorite lip liners at the drugstore. I love this color. This lip liner looks so pretty under really deep nudes and even brighter nudes as well just to deepen it up a little bit. Gorgeous. I love this lip liner. I really love the LA Girl Endless Lip Liners. I actually did a whole video on these and these are two of my favorite ones. I think they're all really beautiful. They also have really nice deep red lip liners that I didn't include in this video that they are also perfect for fall. You can get LA Girl Cosmetics at drugstore.com or on the LA Girl website. But anyway, this one is in the shade Natural. Funny because this next one is also called Natural. This is it swatched on the back of my hand right here. It has a little bit more mauve than the NYX one does, but it's still that perfect nude lip liner that would look great under any nude lipstick. And what's great about these is that they will last all day, literally. Um, I could eat with these, I could do anything I want throughout the day, and it fades away really nicely. It stays on for a very long time. And then this one is called True Brown, and I want to mention this one because I think this would look so beautiful on deeper skin tones. It's a very, very warm brown color. People with fair skin might not like this, and it probably looks a little bit weird on my skin, like in the lip swatch, but it is so beautiful on deep skin tones. You guys have no idea. If you are like a medium deep skin tone to very, very dark, this will still look gorgeous on you. Even if you're fair skin and you like it, wear it. Who cares? I I wear whatever I want on my lips, but it is a beautiful, beautiful, warm, like terracotta brown that looks amazing under any lipstick or alone. I love these lip liners and this one is a beautiful one. This next lip liner is considered a nude, I guess, but it's a little bit more reddish mauve based. It's from Prestige. I get Prestige at Ulta. This one was actually sent to me from a subscriber. Thank you, Amy. I really, really love it. It is called... What is this one called? Rosewood. And it is a very mauve nude. It looks absolutely beautiful on the lips. And it's one of those lip liners that you really can wear alone because it is so creamy and buttery. So this lip liner is more mauve than the rest of them, um, but looks so pretty for every day as well, especially in the fall time, of course. These deeper colors like this look so pretty by themselves. I don't have like a deep red lip liner to share with you guys, but Jordana's Cabernet is my favorite. 
I didn't want to mention that because I mentioned that in last year's video. But anyway, now let's talk about purple lip liners. I have two to share with you. This one is, again, by NYX, and it is called Prune. It is a really pretty purple. Like, wait till I show you. It is beautiful. This looks so nice underneath any purple lipstick. I love this because it's not too dark, but it's still fall appropriate. It looks so pretty under a really dark purple, under a really light purple. It just goes well with so many purples. And if you are really scared of that dark purple vampy lip like this, um, you can wear something like this and it is still deep, but not too deep to where you look like a vampire. You know what I'm saying? The last lip liner I want to talk about is from MAC and it is called Night Moth. I'm sure you've heard of this lip liner before. It's very famous, um, but it is for the bold. It is a dark, dark red purple. Um, depending on what you wear on top, it could either look like a wine red color or it can look very, very purple. So this is what it looks like right here, as you can tell. It is dark. This is what I'm wearing on my lips. I do have something else on top, but it is the lip liner I am wearing. In the lip swatch I'm going to be showing you, it is the only thing that's on my lips. I don't have anything on top. By the way, excuse how these lip swatches look. I didn't really use a lip liner for the lipsticks and the lip liners. I just threw them on pretty messily. I just wanted to give you guys the overall look of the color on the lips. So a lot of these lip swatches look a little bit messy. You know, it's hard to swatch a bunch of lip colors in one sitting, so that's why some of them look a little bit, you know, messy. But this is Night Moth, a must have in my opinion. If you are not scared to wear bold colors, you need this in your life. And you could also make it look not so dark. Like if you just line your lips very, very, very lightly, you can make it look a little bit less vampy. Oh, I love this lip liner so much. I know my brows are super scary today. What happened was. I was trying out a new brow product that was like a wax, kind of like a... It was a, an intense product, and I was just putting it on my eyebrows, and before I knew it, they looked like this, and I was like, whoa, Nelly. But I rolled with it. That's what they look like. They're a little bit bold, and I know somebody's going to comment down below, like, your eyebrows are huge. They look like cockroaches. They're ugly. And that's okay. If you think my eyebrows are ugly, I like them. <laughs> I mean, I don't like them. I don't like them this bold, to be honest with you. But whatever. Okay, so now let's move on to lipsticks. Let's talk about nudes, baby. So recently, Milani came out with these new lipsticks. I think they came out with like three of them. It's like their Enchanted collection, I believe it's called. And I really, really love the nude in this line because I think it's perfect for this time of year. It is called Enchanted Topaz. And this is what it looks like. It is a more brown nude, which are my favorite to wear in the fall time. So here it is right here. It has like those beige undertones. On my skin tone, it's a little bit more like brown beige. Um, but on deeper skin tones, this probably looks like a light nude. But I'm just giving you my thoughts for what it looks like on my skin, you know? But I still think that it is perfect for fall. I mean, that's why they came out with this collection. And it's just a great lipstick overall because the formula is really nice. They remind me a lot of the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipsticks where it is matte, but it is really, really creamy. Easy to wear. Um, I don't like the new packaging on this. I don't know if it's just for this collection, but I like the original packaging. I don't know what, what's up with this. And these don't smell like watermelon Jolly Ranchers like the original does. That's a little disappointing. But the color nonetheless is beautimous. I love it. So the next three products I want to talk about are kind of like in the same family. They are a little bit similar. You choose which one you like the most and which one you want. I personally find them a little bit different, but that's just the psycho in me. But they are like in the same mauve kind of family. I have been really, really into wearing that mauve type of lip, especially during this time of year. And this one is amazing. This is from Bite Beauty. These are their new matte creme lip crayons. They came out with a bunch of new colors for the fall 2014. And this one is called Glacy, Glace, Glace. There's an apostrophe over the E at the end, so I don't know how to pronounce that. Glace, Glace. It's so, so pretty. The formula on these things are really great and they smell amazing. I don't know how to describe the scent, but it's amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm in love with the scent. Like every time I wear it, I'm like, <sighs> it smells great. 
This is the color right here. It is a beautiful mauve. That's pretty much the only way I could describe this color. It is a beautiful, beautiful mauve. These wear a really long time on the lips and they're super comfortable. They're really creamy. And I love this color so much. Next one I want to talk about is Touch of Spice. And this one is similar. This is from Maybelline. Did I say that? The next one I want to talk about is Maybelline's Touch of Spice. This is from their Creamy Matte Collection that came out recently. And every single lipstick in that collection is amazing. Go out and get it because they feel incredible. They are very, very creamy, yet they are matte. It's kind of weird. More like a satin finish. This is the color right here. Like I said, really similar, only a little bit more pink. This one has more of a dusty undertone. And this one is a little bit more like a vibrant mauve. But nonetheless, still really, really pretty. And you can get this at Target. Really cheap. I love this color. And then my favorite one in the mauve family is this one right here. And it is an expensive little bad boy. This is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Anita. This one was actually sent to me from Nicole from Young Wild and Polish. She gave me two of these and they are incredible. I'm going to do a whole video on this lipstick. So I don't want to go too in depth, but they are the best formula you will ever come across in the history of your life. If you're going to invest in an expensive lipstick, it's going to be this. This is the color right here. As you could see, it's a little bit more pinky than the rest of them. Definitely a lot lighter than the Maybelline one. This looks so beautiful on the lips. It's that perfect everyday mauve color. Like you could literally wear this color every day and it would look gorgeous with so many different eye looks. Okay, reds. Let's talk about reds. Typical red color for the fall time is gonna be this bad boy right here. Um, I've only had this for like a month or two, but it has quickly become my favorite deep red color in the world. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Fiery, and this is one of those formulas that go on wet, but then they dry to a super matte finish. This is the most beautiful red color ever especially in the fall time when you don't want to wear like such a bright red like for example max ruby root is really bright or like so shot is more like an orangey red those are more colors that you would normally wear in the summertime so these kind of reds are perfect for the fall time this is a good way to go to where you're going dark but not too dark does that make any sense to anybody out there no okay deep red shades i have two to share with you and they are both from the drugstore this one is from Milani. It came out with this little enchanted little collection and this one is called Enchanted Ruby. And what I love about this one is that it looks like very berry. It has like kind of like a purple berry color to it. In the tube, it looks like it's gonna be like a dark, dark lipstick. But when you apply it to your lips, it's not that dark at all, which I actually don't mind because I love colors like this where it has that really pretty berry purple undertone. This one is so nice if you want a dark lip color, but you don't want to go too dark either. It's beautiful and it looks great on top of any like red or purple lip liner. I love this one so much. And then this one is another one from the Maybelline Creamy Matte Collection and this one is in Divine wine and i have to say that this lipstick has quickly become my favorite dark red ever like i even i like it just as much as max diva and max diva is probably my all-time favorite deep red lipstick i love it because it has a different undertone than i'm used to i don't know how to explain it it has like a brown undertone like it's a red with a little bit of brown in there does that make any sense i don't know how to explain it but it is beautiful on the lips i just recently did a tutorial using this lipstick and I'm obsessed with it. It's the perfect dark lip shade for the fall in my opinion. If you are looking for a red, it's beautiful. Just try it. The formula is amazing. The color is amazing. I cannot rave about this certain one enough. Divine Wine, go get it. Okay, and the last three lip products I have to share with you. I feel like I've been talking forever. Do I have too many lip products? These last three I'm going to be sharing with you are purples. I love dark purples for the fall because I feel like I can get away with it. As in the summertime, I usually wear like really bright purples and like orchidy type of purples. But for the fall time, that's why I bring out these puppies. These two are amazing purples. These are the LA Girl Glazed Lip Paints. They're really inexpensive. They're like $4 and they're fabulous. This one is called 
daring and it is a purple that's not too too vampy but I mean it's still pretty dark but it's not black either this is what it looks like right here it's a beautiful beautiful purple like this will probably look good on everyone I could picture anyone wearing this color like absolutely anyone these are really great you do have to use a lip liner with these and apply these with a lip brush because they can get a little bit messy because they are so so glossy but I like that they're glossy these are only like the glossy kind of products I have to share with you because in the fall time I'm usually more into matte colors because dark colors when they're too glossy they will slip and slide everywhere so that's why I recommend lip liners with these but they're just so pretty I can't I, I love them so this one is called daring and then this one is called tent and it is so dark it's almost black I mean, look at that. <laughs> that looks black. But don't let that scare you because on the lips, like, as you can see, like, once you start to blend it out, um, it gets lighter. So the more layers you apply to your lips, the darker it's going to look. I'm just crazy about these two colors. Crazy. And then the last product is what's on my lips on top of Max Night Moth. And it is the best dark purple Vamp vampy color ever. Forget about Max Smoked Purple. This is where it's at. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Transylvania. It's dark. It is a super, super dark purple. I have been I have been on the hunt for a color like this for so long, but Smoked Purple is always sold out at my MAC, and I'm glad that I found this before I purchased that one because it's just as pretty and it smells a lot better because these NYX soft matte lip creams smell like cake and it is a fraction of the cost. These are so inexpensive. This is what it looks like right here. Definitely not for the faint of heart. This is for the bold and the daring. Okay guys, so that is it. That completes this video. These are all of my current favorite fall lip products. I will link my old video down below. So yeah, don't forget to check out Nicole's video so you can see some more lip color options and don't forget to subscribe to her channel because she is one of a kind i love her if you guys are coming over from nicole's channel hi thank you for watching i hope you stay and i hope you subscribe but don't freak out it gets a little crazy over here well i mean if you're coming from nicole's channel then you probably know because it gets a little crazy over there too which is why i love her thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye Hey guys, I'm going to be sharing you, sharing with you, okay. I guess that's why we get along so well. No, Celine, don't mess up my tripod. <laughs> in more colors, but if you're interested in more colors I love, that I, uh, that I, uh, come here, what is that? What are you eating? No, that's not food. <laughs> I was trying out a new bra product, product, what's a product? And this is what I look like. No. This is what it looks like. They remind me a lot of the Milani. No, that's Maybelline. <laughs> um, how much longer you got? I'm almost done. I need you to make me like a snack. <laughs> you want a snack? I want a snack. What kind of snack? Uh, I don't know. Mm, like a little bit of crackers and shrimp cheese. Mmm, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. A little, a little snack and maybe some cheesecake. Some cheesecake, yeah. Some cheesecake, maybe. Okay. Oh, that's not cute.